During our four week review of the 2020 Slingshot R, we went at it hard. We wanted to see how the Slingshot performed under multiple circumstances and missions, so we took it everywhere. We put more than a thousand miles on it and most of that was open road. The Slingshot took us hundreds of miles up twisty canyons and on scenic routes through Utah's picturesque park regions. We did five hours on the slab too, north along the I-15 corridor on flat, straight asphalt. There were roadside diners, chintzy souvenir shops, and cheap motels. We made lots of friends along the way. Not every day can be a road trip though. Like anyone else, we had jobs to commute to, errands to run, and groceries to buy. We took our Slingshot R along for all of it. Laptops and huge bags of dog food, bank transactions, and stop and go rush hour traffic. No fair weather friends us. We have stuff to do, and so do you. We wanted to be sure the Slingshot was up to the task. In comfort, we rate the Slingshot 4 out of 5. The cockpit of the Slingshot R is comfortably snug and inspires confidence. Its generously bolstered seats keep you tucked in tight with enough space to accommodate most body types. The driver's footwell can get a little tight with the speaker box in the way though, so I found myself thinking about my left knee more than I'd like, and the seat belt pretensioner is extremely overzealous. More than once I let out a shouted expletive while trying to check my blind spots. Leaning forward any faster than a creep ends in a jarring full stop, which is sure to be a appreciated the one time you need it, but the thousands of times before that are less than fun. We drove all day without any fatigue, either from body positioning or wind noise. 12 or even 14 hours at the wheel would not be hard to do. Our power rating for the Slingshot R is 4 out of 5. The Slingshot R makes enough power to handle whatever road you'd like to take it on with confidence. The automatic transmission does a poor job of delivering that power though, and it performs best at a casual pace. The Slingshot R gets a 4 out of 5 in handling. This is probably the thing that surprised us most during our review. With three tracks and the power pushing from the middle, we were expecting the Slingshot to be a little squirrely and uncivilized. Frankly, we thought that might be the whole point of the thing. Our first ride up Ogden Canyon laid that to rest. The fat front tires and low center of gravity keep the Slingshot positively grounded even when you push it a little. It will hold a line under spirited cornering and keep you smiling through it all, especially in Slingshot mode. If you make a conscious effort to misbehave, the back end will step out, but it's almost impossible to do with the traction control doing its thing. When it does break loose, it does so predictably, and the prodigious traction from those two front tires will bring you back the moment you tell them to. Our single complaint about the handling is all in the brakes. They're wooden. No bite, no feel, no feedback. It's like stopping a ceiling fan with a broom. They may as well be a switch instead of a pedal for all the finesse you can employ. Slow down, slow down a lot, and stop. We rated the Slingshot's range at a 5. The Slingshot R carries 9.7 gallons of fuel and returned 25 to 30 miles per gallon during our review. That makes for about 270 miles between fuel stops, which is fantastic for a touring vehicle like this. The range computer is inexplicably optimistic though, so watch out for that. We once saw it project more than 350 miles after a fill up. Also, the manual insists on 91 octane or better. That's not uncommon by any means, but it's something to keep in mind. In versatility, we rate the Slingshot of 5. As we said at the beginning, we went everywhere in our Slingshot R during this review. Weekend road trips, grocery runs, commuting to work. We carried luggage and cereal and hair dye and cameras and spare helmets. We rode through national parks in 85 degree sun and raced rainstorms home on 35 degree evenings. The Slingshot took it all with a smile, and even something as mundane as dropping off the utility payments became a thing to enjoy. We award the Slingshot a 5 in style. We could get into the details, sure. The hood vents, the trellis mirror stocks, the angle sharp enough to cut yourself on. Yes, it's polarizing. No, this can't be rated objectively. And yes, we're partial to edgy high-protect design. But whether you like the style or not, there's no denying there's plenty of it. And the slingshot effect, as Polaris calls it, is a real thing. Everybody responds to the slingshot in the wild. People passing on the freeway stick their phones out their windows to film it. Pedestrians in crosswalks will actually walk right up to you to talk at red lights. Park the slingshot in the middle of an empty parking lot and watch as every car passing through goes out of the way to roll past it. Herds of children follow it through apartment complexes, picking up extras along the way like the opening of the Drew Carey show. You will feel like a celebrity rolling through town in the slingshot art. A guilty pleasure? Sure, but still a pleasure. The slingshot earned a 5 out of 5 in sound. The slingshot makes a lot of noise and it's all good. 
throaty intake and baritone exhaust, aggressive but with a refined note that rarely gets thrashy. In addition to the motor sounds, the belt also plays a part. There's a sort of humming, harmonic whine that starts at about 2400 RPM and increases in pitch through 4000 and 5000 RPM until it quiets down. It's literally a musical note, you could tune check a live orchestra with it. And if you ever get tired of all that mechanical growl and musical thrum, you can crank up the tunes on the Rockford Fosgate stereo system that comes standard in the R. It sounds great even at 80 plus miles per hour. It's a mechless unit with no inputs though, so bring your Bluetooth enabled mobile device if you want to spin something. Our fun rating for the slingshot is a five. Yeah, the thing is fun. It's a blast. It's an ever-loving riot with the stones jamming in the background and the smell of meat grilling in the air. Even the things that are wrong with it. The seat belts grab too much, the brakes that don't grab enough, and the transmission that's always grabbing a nap when it should be working fade into the background as soon as you settle in. The motor thrums through the steering wheel, the belt spools up with a whine, and you're off. It's not a performance vehicle. It's a pleasure cruise. More serotonin, less adrenaline. We'll miss it, so 